in Newham, East London, often described as the largest regeneration site in Europe. Host of the 2012 Olympic Games. And we are the Architecture Britain's first architecture youth forum. to find out what's happening in Newham today and what our borough will look like in the near future. Take a trip with us through time, street and state. How would you describe Newham? Good. Newham is busy. Oh, well, it's big, isn't it? So far? It's changing a lot. Um, there's people. The thing I like about Newham is that in this room, we got people from nearly every corner of the earth. People I never thought I would meet from places I never heard of have become my friends. My concerns about Newham is that this whole change they're making, it seems to be coming like America, like Los Angeles. Like it's, it's like it's losing its identity or the legacy. Like for instance, they're like dropping down all the buildings that were there for how long before we was even born. It's good to have a change, but the change is so dramatic to me. I'm not really, I feel kind of out of place. Newham played a major part in Britain's industrial age. Ships from all over the world travelled up and down the Thames estuary, loading and unloading their cargo of goods and passengers at Silvertown's Royal Docks. Massive ocean liners overshadowed the narrow streets of Newham. The area became a magnet for people in search of work and an opportunity of a better life. very fond memories. I worked on the road in Standard Telephones in 1970 and um, I'm very familiar with Tate and Lyle and the old railway track that used to come down here. When I was younger, um, I used to come over the docks and uh, there were still warehouses there. It was before it had all been developed. We used to have sailing lessons over there for 25p a day. You can see everyone was really tight-knit. Everyone knew everyone. Everyone had certain skills and jobs and if you needed something, you wouldn't have to fork out millions of pounds to get it. You'd probably have to bargain, barter down. I think it was a much happier place than it is now. And then you see these great big ships going up and down and there's all these horns and there's all this excitement of what's on the ship. And compared to how it is now, it's changed quite a lot. Newham was a merchant's playground, a bastion of industrial strength. Newham was a grumpy old man, forlorn with foggy pallor. Newham was a dark and narrow place, a dusty monochrome memory. were built to accommodate thousands of people who worked in the thriving industrial Newham. But because it had become such an important part of Britain's economy, it was also a major target during the Second World War. Once the dust had settled after the war, hope was on the horizon. 1960s tower block dreams reached for the clouds as a new age of modern social housing was born. This shaped the new that we know today, a mix of old and new. It's not nice for the children to grow up in. I wouldn't have children to let them grow up here at all. Do you think with the regeneration of Newham that maybe it might improve or is it just the... I don't think so. I really don't think Newham will improve at all. I think Newham suffers from uh, a bit of unemployment and so on, so there's opportunities for new jobs. There's a lot of opportunity down here, you know, it's changing a lot. And there's a lot of the old ways of disappearing and new ways of coming in. Um, what, what do you think needs to be changed? Mm, you know, like leisure facilities for younger people and it's like there's not that many services available for younger people. Like, it's mainly um, well, it's targeted to, towards older people, so I think it should be 
like focusing on us. Uh, uh, on the goddamn show, man. Hey, yo. This one right here goes from my girl Bex. Alright. Nome is one of the most culturally diverse areas in the world. You can fill your belly with culinary delights from across the globe. At the heart of the borough is Green Street, a thriving epicenter of Asian cultures that appeared during the 1970s. Everyone knows about Hackney and Camden and Brixton, but they don't really know about the borough of Newham. So it's funny now because that like before Newham was like it didn't have the identity like no one knew where it was it, it probably just been some kind of rundown sort of area full of use and violence you know what I mean um, now it seems to be some kind of spotlight now for the Olympics and everyone's just flooding in as if it's it's like a stock market and everyone's just putting their money in hoping to get something out of it. is a bright and crowded place, a concentration of cultures and tongues. Nim is confused, half modern and half old. Nim is an evolving place, cocooned and dormant till 2012.